June 13th, 1971. Few people know and fewer people remember the name of Carl Kolchak. I prefer to keep it that way. I've been hunting monsters and creatures of the dark for several years now. Vampires, witches, voodoo, zombies, and a very nasty headless biker. However, this story, I believe, has a different kind of monster. The story you've heard probably over a thousand times over now. But I bet your top dollar you've never heard it like this before. Gold check, you got me so frazzled, I can't find anything on my desk. I had a huge manila folder, which was your next assignment. Oh, you mean the one on my uh, desk there about the protest movements going on in Kent State? I wouldn't know. I didn't get a chance to read it, because it's not on my desk! Aye, aye, Captain, never you fear. to do this, Carl. There's too much at stake. You, do you have any idea how many felonies you're going to be slapped with? I'm not going to bail you out for stealing these papers. America needs to know the truth, Tony. This is news, Vincenzo. This is the news. I don't know what I'm going to do. Just, just give me a little more time, Vinny. I don't know if INS is even big enough to bring out a story like this. This is a local paper, but... I think I know someone who can. Carl Kolchak, <coughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Hey, 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 hey! I have the right to wear my hat! Yeah, the right to an attorney of one shall be provided for. So, they read me my rights, and I read them the rights of America. June 13th, 1971. Pentagon Papers are just freshly released into the New York Times. As for my involvement with the story... Well, some things are best just kept off the record. Call Jack!